bring us the girl. Wipe away the death. Welcome to my review of Bioshock Infinite. Finally, finally gonna review this game. Now, here's a, here's a little story, okay? When I got near the end of the game, like the last combat level, I was stuck on it multiple times because it's basically a defense level, mainly. So, here's the thing. Yesterday, I wanted to beat the entire game all over again. Because I was just in bits and pieces of the game when I got, you know, the first two Bioshock games. But, I finally beat the game tonight. And now I'm going to give it to you guys. Here's my review of Bioshock Infinite. Now, a man named Booker DeWitt, played by the amazing Troy Baker, is sent to the flying city of Columbia to find a missing girl named Elizabeth. However, upon arrival, he discovers that the city and its people and his objective are not all what they seem. And which leads us to one of the most amazing video game stories, yet confusing but still one of the most amazing video game stories I've ever seen. Because here's the thing. This came out in 2013, the same year as The Last of Us. Two great games and two great stories in one year. Now, Bioshock Infinite was winner of over 80 awards. Which is crazy, right? And uh, while this doesn't really have that much to do with the first two Bioshock games since... The entire place was underwater, while this is basically in a sky world. And here's the thing, you can switch different weapons. You can switch from shotguns when, and uh, machine guns and stuff like that. Unlike the first two games where you can pretty much keep your weapons, you just have to... Although I will say, when you do upgrade your health and stuff, you have these bottles that... Um, let you decide on um, what you want to upgrade, whether if it's your shield, the amount of salts you get, or, um, of course, your health, kind of like in the new Dune game, and uh, other games too. But um, Bioshock Infinite, I gotta say, is one of the best games I've ever played in my life. This is an amazing game. This is, out of the entire um, trilogy, um, I'm not sure if I would say this is a third installment, but... Unlike the first two games, this has not a silent protagonist. Booker DeWitt, which yes, this is Booker DeWitt. And uh, who else could play him better than Troy Baker? Troy Baker is one of the best video game actors right next to Nolan North. He played uh, Nathan Drake's brother in Uncharted 4. And of course, uh, Joel from The Last of Us. So... Yeah, he was a perfect choice in this game, because I can definitely go without saying, the graphics out of the trilogy, this has the best looking graphics. This is an, and has the best characters. See, Elizabeth is a companion. She's not an escort. When you're in combat, you do not have to protect her. She can defend herself, unlike a little bitch from Resident Evil 4. Great game, but... She was pretty much the only bad thing about that game. But, um, that's still one of my all-time favorites, still in my top ten. But anyways, Bioshock Infinite has everything, like, I know, the first two games got around to the horror element. Even though I'm a big fan of horror, it's my favorite genre. It's just something about this game, this has to be my favorite in the series. And probably my favorite game made by 2K. Uh, 2K, the same guys that made Borderlands. And other games too. And and I can say, unlike the ending to the first game, which I can say was pretty much one of the biggest letdowns in the game, this has the best ending, in my opinion. And uh, it has the best voice acting, the best graphics, because when they're up in... Because they're the graphics nearly seem flawless. And I will say that there was pretty much just one glitch in the game where Elizabeth is just stuck in this one corner, but that's okay. All video games have to have glitches. Like in The Last of Us, in the last five minutes of the game where I'm controlling Ellie, I hit this one button that makes her just have her arms out like this, and she's just moving over around without... <laughs> that was just so weird, but yeah. But Bioshock Infinite is everything that I wanted Bioshock Infinite to be. A great story, great gap, 
graphics, great characters, you know, great voice acting. It pretty much lives up to its story. Now, this game has received some backlash, but I'm not quite sure why exactly. I, I don't know if it's because it doesn't bring in the horror ele element anymore, or I don't know what it is, but I think this is the best in the series, guys. Bioshock Infinite is an amazing game. And you don't even have to play the first two games. You can you can play this game first if you want. It's up to you, but I'm glad I got to finish this game. Bioshock Infinite is an amazing game, and I'm going to give it a perfect 5 out of 5. There is almost not a single thing that I hate about it. You know, but yeah. Oh my god. There you go. I finished all the Bioshock games. Will there be a bio another Bioshock game? Who knows? But uh I'm not sure if Bioshock Infinite is a third installment or a spin-off game. If it's a spin-off game, then it's one of the best spin-offs. Spin-off games. If it's a third game, then it's one of the best third games. So yeah. That's it for this video, and I will see you guys later. Word out.